Hey everyone, I'm back with my new setup. Um, hopefully this video will be clearer. I did finally get that RAM added in correctly. Um, on my last video, I was ranting and raving about, sorry for the crinkling, about how much I love the uh, metallic rub-ons that I had. And I told you that you couldn't get them anymore. Apparently I lied. Thank you very much, Peg. Uh, a friend of mine on the Crafters Community, that's K-R-A-A-F-T-E-R-S, community with a K, uh, alerted me to the fact that when you look them up on Amazon, it's under metallic rub-on paints. So if you want these, they really are not that expensive. They're wonderful. I mean, they've got four different sets, and you can get them still. All right. Now we've cleared that up. See if I can not crinkle. We're back on to the Lair Stack and Houses. Uh, Lair and Stack Houses by Hot Off the Press. I neglected to say last time that, no, I am not associated with them. I don't work for them. Um, I just love their products. Here, I want to show you how to make three-dimensional houses. I mentioned that last time. And I figured it would probably be a good idea to show you how to do patterns first. So let's try that. Ooh, sorry about that. Let's see if we can get the wire out of the picture. Okay. All right. I had taken a bunch of copier paper. And the very first thing I did was draw a quarter inch and a quarter inch across. And then I just set up this, in this case, two-story house and went across four times, making sure I had it even. All right, so that's what you can see there. Then I made sure I had to put a quarter inch flap on there and I started doing the flaps up here. And if I wanted to, I could either flatten out this part or I could make a pointed roof and put the um, create a, sh uh, excuse me, create a roof, there we go, around the top of that so that it would be pointed, you know, on four sides. Otherwise, and of course I would cut that out and lay it on the paper or just redraw it on the back of one of these papers that I have. And Otherwise, uh, the one I was working on for myself, because for some stupid reason I like to have things bigger, especially when I'm trying to put them together, seems easier to me. We have this, which is the three-story house. Again, I did the quarter inch and the quarter inch, and three-story, three-story, and did straight across. Now, and then I sat there and drew a peak for those and I drew a line for that which means I'm going to cut off that top and I am going to actually put a couple and I obviously would do this normally with a ruler put a couple of flaps here so I can attach the roof to it but again this part would be flat and for the main roof the main building, part of the building, the other part of the pattern. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going brain dead. Um, I have where again I did the three story all the way across and I drew the flaps and I drew a line across because I'm going to make it a flat roof there and a, the quarter inch and the quarter inch there. And then I sat there and measured what the roof would be when I put all four sides around and cut that out, or drew a flap on one of them, not both, but actually I left a little bit of a flap on the one part. Okay, hopefully that made sense. So now what do you do when you get done playing with those little making patterns and so on? How about this? Let's see if I can find the door. Okay, we have the door. I put a bunch of mica chips on top. I banded around the chimney. Here we go. And 
I put on windows with window sills, and again I put more mica chips around the outside. And I mean you could do this as funky or as plain as you want. So what have I got going so far? Oh yes, I, I neglected to mention that if I'm going to sit there and take my time to make a house, I want it to last. So what I did was take the inside of that pattern, trace around it, and cut out cardboard pieces and laid them on and fit them and glued them on to those pieces. So that this pattern is the one with the flaps on the sides. Yeah, let me see if I can find that one real quick for you. That's this one. Okay, so I've taken this pattern and laid it out so it's one piece and you'll notice I put the cardboard there so I basically put, took the cardboard to put the two houses and then just cut a little bit smaller all right now what's this you say that's just cloth and if you ever know ever do any kind of book binding excuse the crinkling thought I had everything out but I did not if you ever do book binding, here, let me hurry this up. You have uh, uh, the best thing to do is like put cloth in between. And I got this remnant in Walmart, God knows when, way back. So what I did was I just cut strips that were a little bit smaller. Ah, bugger! And I didn't bring over the cloth sears. Well, let's see how these work. If not, you'll hear me rummaging in the room. Anyways, ah, good. At least it's cutting the threads. So, what I would do is trim this out. Yes, good, this will work. Trim this out so obviously it's not going to go below the, the pattern part because that part's going to be folding up on top of a platform. And trimming those out and getting them all nice and neat so nothing is going to show when I actually glue this thing all together. Alright, and we'll do the same thing over here. Yes, I know. Somebody commented that I sigh too much. And I apologize for that. Bad habit. Don't know why I do it. Forgive me for doing so. And I know I was guilty last time because I was extremely tired and was so tired of not having done a video in a while. I said the heck with it and just went ahead and did it anyways. All right, so now we have um, two pieces of the house. And by the way, this was just done with watercolor. And let me dig down here into my abyss of my craft doors. Uh, let me explain something. My hubby and I are not good shopping together. He finds the best deals. Do you have this? Do you have that? Went to Hobby Lobby and he found this on clearance. What it is this? It's Deco Art Elegant Finish Metallic Glaze. So this was watercolor and then I just stenciled over it with a number stencil. I don't know. It's probably Crafter's Workshop. Don't know for sure. And then we also found this. And excuse the phone, my hubby will pick it up. Um, and this is the uh, greenish gold, okay, glaze. So I thought those would be perfect on this. And that the greenish gold you're seeing on the under part of the roof. And I have also, these are just watercolors. It's a Sergeant Art watercolors, actually, liquid watercolors. And then I stenciled on a clock stencil on top of this. All right. So the next step, forgive me, my videos for some reason usually always run late or long. As you've seen on the house here, I made a platform that was like half an inch to an inch wider than all the other uh, than around the base. All right. So. I've done that here with some sprayed papers for this house. 
Yeah, it's funky colored because that one was kind of laid back with all the um, gold leafing. I had put gold and silver and everything else on this gold and silver leafing and then the mica chips and the rub-ons, metallic rub-ons. So everything was kind of red and gold and laid back and I wanted something funky. So I have, deep in the recesses, I have some stuff for doors and some stuff for a chimney and so on. And I won't bother putting the cardboard in the chimney this time just to save time. However, let's do this real quick because the cloth takes a while to get down there, uh, glue down. In fact, now that I'm looking at this, I probably would have just left that paper off just for a, except for a nub, but let's see what happens. Only because I don't know how well this is going to stick down. All right. Yes. No. <laughs> I never opened up my glue, which is the Fabric Tack by Beacon Adhesives. So let's see if we can get that opened up. I'm just cutting off the edge. Yep. So I am going to glue along this, and I'm generous, probably too generous with it, because this is the inside, and I don't care. Whoops. Helps if I move my hand. Sorry. I've got the cord to the camera already glued. So I'm going to lay that on there and try and make sure I get it even and I'm going to hold that down. And while we're holding this down, I also have an apology to make to Paper Wishes, hot off the press, by the way. And that's where you can get that template. Again, the Laird Stack, Laird and Stack Houses because I had said you can get these anywhere, which is true. And while that's going down, let me get a paper, uh, baby wipe so I don't sit there and move myself to something. But uh, it's true that you can get this on Am these templates on Amazon and stuff. But I went in and priced, and they're generally around $4 more. No joke. $4 more a piece on Amazon than they would be if you just bought them at Hot Off the Press. And um, on paperwishes.com, rather, the name of the company is Hot Off the Press. Their their site is, is uh, paperwishes.com. Anyways, so, yep, there's some nice glue. And, ah! Let me hold it this way. Anyways, so if you go on Paper Wishes, these are like $6.99 a piece. Nothing, absolutely nothing. No paper towel. Anyways, versus some of these on Amazon for like $10.99. Getting up and getting a paper towel. And yes, I do not like editing, so these guys get the full reel. And we're already into 13 minutes on this. Okay, so it's imperative that even though you, you're gluing the one way, you're gluing them together, you be able to have them so they're folded. They can be folded. So now that side should stay. All right. And then I can glue this part or fold this part and this part, and I'm going to glue these two together. The glue is right in front of me. So if you're interested in any of their templates, and believe me, they have tons of templates, um, different cards, um, flowers, and so on. Yes, it's low tech for some people. They'd rather have the dyes, and as I've said several times before, I have the dies. I don't. I don't have anything against dies. I just have a lot of fun doing these. Okay, so now I'm not going to hold this together. So you get to hear me yimmer yammer some more. Anyways, I just find something. Find it really soothing to play with this stuff. 
And why am I using fabric tag? Well, it's my go-to glue. And another thing is obviously we're using we're using fabric on this. And normally I'd be putting the fabric up here too on these two parts. But for brevity's sake, because you already had to deal with me trying to glue that like that as it is, I won't torture you and do that. And I also normally would put it on the bottom, but again, I'm not going to torture you to do that. However, what I probably should have done was get out some sticky tape and try that. But if I was going to do that, I should have done that beforehand because I would have wanted it laying flat. Make sure these are set all right. <laughs> Is this funky enough for you for colors? All right, so what we're going to try and do, and I figure the best way to do it is put the base on first. I am going to try and not knock it over so much. Pull it back out. There. And get ready for the drip and the dribble. So we're just going to glue it to the base. And again, I probably would have should have used ultra stick tape on this, but I didn't. If I was otherwise, well, I know I'm hemming and hawing a lot, but I probably should have used the ultra stick tape if I was just going to tape, put this down. But like I said, normally I try to put cloth on there too because I figure it's going to hold more, be a little bit more uh, sturdy. Now I'm going to make something like this. I want it to last. Okay. Make sure I've got it square. Get my fingers in. Push it down. And if you've watched my videos before, you know my videos are long. So make sure this one's sticking together on the side. It seems to want to slide in. And another thing about the uh, fabric tack, it's really fairly quick to set up. And yes, I have a bunch of glue there. I can either erase it off or, more importantly, I can sit there and, and embellish with things like uh, the mica chips and so on. Now we're going to put the roof on. Now I just realized I did something wrong but that's fine. I should have probably decorated the outside first. Well, let's put the roof on. We'll see what happens there. So I've got the roof. Bright enough for you? Okay, I'm going to put the purple on the side and the red on the side of the orange. And this I would recommend. Well, like I said, I normally would put cloth there, and sorry for the big hand. Um, Put some glue. It's it's. I've done a video, did a video on making a birdhouse by Crafters Companion, and I'll tell you, it's so much easier to use glue on this part because it will allow you to maneuver. And the ultra tape will not. All right, I said red on the orange side, so. And now I'm going to have to hold this for a minute. And yep, I'm getting glue on there to make sure I've got it on both sides on the bottom. Uh, shoot. Well, I'm going to have to. I've got, I have, good English. I was a college graduate. I have some cloth hanging out there. I'm going to try and snip that away. And then I'm going to try and embellish it with something. So to cover that up. We have to hold this for a minute or two so it'll set. Oh, in case you didn't notice, I sat there and used a Spellbinders edge die along the edge there. And I used some of the rub-ons that, that I showed you to um, highlight the edges so they were a little more antique and so on. Yep. Probably about as exciting as watching, watching paint dry. But is this house funky enough for you guys? 
and obviously I'm not going to finish decorating it today. I'll, I'll get a bunch of stuff on it and um, we'll see what happens as far as how it ends up looking in the end. It's going to probably take too long. We'll see. All right. That ought to do good. Yep, I have some. There they are. I have some. Ah, that's one thing I didn't do. I have some cloth underneath there. Now, an alternative is to just take, and let's see if I can get this lid off. It's not going to happen. Oh well. What I'll probably end up doing is taking the, this paint and just rubbing along underneath. And it's pulling up already. I didn't hold it long enough. So I can take the paint and rub it underneath that roof and get that cloth colored to the same color as the roof. And let's put on a chimney. Chimney, I just took a uh, square of paper, did both sides. And I'm going to, again, this is actually one that really should have had ultra tape. I'm going to put some glue on and on the bottom. Hopefully I'm putting it here. There we go. Hopefully I'm putting it in view. And forgive me for any time I've gotten out of view. There we go. Now, I'm going to make this into a square. And I totally intended on putting it on the side of the roof versus on the top this time. Please stop scooting away. Yeah, this goes a little messy. Come on, you go up there, go down there, and now you'll stick like a square. So like I said, I wanted it to be a funky house. And I'll put my finger in there and try and get it nice and flat. Here, so that one's sticking a lot better. Get my baby wipe again and try and clean my fingers off. And I have glue all over the side. I'll have to do something to it. Put some glitter, put some mica chips or something to cover it up. Because if you ever listen to Carol and Doobie, one of her things is an oops. And this is definitely an oops. An opportunity suddenly presenting itself. Or presenting suddenly. And I have windows. You know, those are clocks. No, those are windows on this one. And I made up a door. And I'm going to be using this for trim. So I think I'm going to put the trim on and put it right in the middle of the house. Let's see if we can use this glue instead. Maybe it'll be a little less messy. This is some Tombow. And come on. Yay, we got to start it. Okay. I can hear him. I don't know if you can hear him. My hubby's out there watching a golf game. And he roots, at the, roots for them like he roots for uh, football games. So just beware if you hear some yelling. There. Mop that up a little. And actually put that down so you can see what I'm doing. Mop up, wipe up some of that glue. Ooh, going uphill. There we go. And I have two of those. And I figured I'd bring in that green just to tie it in with that little chimney. And here's another one. We'll do the same thing.
so you can see what I'm doing here. That's still a little crooked, isn't it? Better get it while it's wet, right? All right. And no, I'm not going to give you measurements. And it's because you can easily do this with that template. And I don't want to sit there and get off, uh, ruin the rights on paper wishes stuff, if you know what I mean. Okay. Ah, that one was going down. Move up. There. There's that. And there's that. So the house has a little belly band. I like it. And wipe off my fingers again. And hopefully this setup is a little better. I think I told you last time that I, I got a piece of equipment to hang my camera down and didn't have anything to attach it, well, we went and looked online and apparently you're supposed to buy something extra to just to attach the camera because apparently the arm is used for several different, can be used for several different devices. Whoops. Okay, guys, let's try and finish this up for the most part. I'm going to, you want the red door there or the red door on the orange? Hmm, or the red door on this side. Let me see. I had this planned out, but I can't remember which way I was going to do it. I think I'm going to put it against the orange. This one I will put on with the fabric tack because I know it will stay. Not that the Tombow is bad or anything, but so there's our, our door. And so I'll have purple windows on each side and a red window on the back. And there goes one of those sides. Sorry, Vicki. Okay, got the red window, so we're going to put the red window in the back over top of the belly band. And like I said, I'm going to touch up underneath that roof with the. Um, got to get rid of that off my finger with the green paint. I should have put some Vaseline around the outside of the paint lid so I could open it up easier. And there's another window. And for the last window. Wow. I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to be this long at this point in time. And there's the last window. Now, like I said, this is kind of bare bones for right now. And obviously, I need to glue down the roof a little bit better on some parts. But I thought, wouldn't this be a good steam pump place? Put some gears and other things on this, like the Donna Salazar. Uh, Spellbinders dies. Ooh. Okay. Loving it. What do you think? Well, I'll finish this up and take some pictures later on and put add it to the video. Y'all have a great day. Sorry for keeping you so long. Um, if you liked this video, despite the length, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for watching and please subscribe and hit the like button. Have a great day. Bye.